this is Sarah, and I'm going to show you what I built this weekend. Um, I'm making a new robot named Noodle Feet, who is going to be a leg hugger, and he is going to walk around on the ground, locate legs, approach them, and then he's going to lean on them slightly. So in order to pull this off, I need to make a robot that's capable of walking around on the ground, and he's going to have to have little, like, camera eyes that can look around and locate legs, specifically legs, not like trees or chairs or anything, and then like go over to them. So I'm gonna have to learn a little bit of computer vision. But um, I did build the proof of concept so he is in a physical form and I'm gonna show him to you. This is my first leg that I designed on Elgadoo. Um, it works, but its proportions are all wrong. Um, this is the second leg I made, which works a lot better, but the one thing that it doesn't do that I want is fold up all the way so that the femur part and the ankle are parallel. And there's a bunch of things keeping it from doing that. But um, I did redesign it a third time to this, and this guy does fold up into a nice little stick, so he can unfurl and his leg will be able to bend like this. So I 3D printed four of these guys and I assembled him. And this is my first prototype of the actual robot. And he doesn't move or anything, he's just more or less like making sure that the pro proportions will work and that things aren't too terribly close together which they kind of are, they need to be tweaked, but I have a good visual of what the robot will look like once I replace all these plastic parts with aluminum ones. The things that I'm going to replace first are these femur pieces that go straight up and down, uh, right here. Uh, they're really wobbly. They're supposed to stay uh, parallel to each other, obviously, but um, with the robot's weight, they want to kind of sway back and forth, and that's partially due to the plastic being soft, but it's also because there isn't really anything up here, any um, bearings keeping them from um, moving from side to side, other than these screws. So um, I need to come up with something a little bit better than that to hold everything solidly in place, because they're only supposed to rotate in their sockets. You can see the gears here, which will be responsible for doing that later. But um. Yeah, this is more or less what he's going to look like.